Hi, I'm Eric Miller, and welcome to another Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Heso3D, and he asks, what's the best way to develop and improve and practice iOS and Swift development? Excellent question, Heso3D. The first place I visit when looking to learn new things is GitHub. I browse through the Objective-C and Swift trending sections and look for anything that looks intriguing. See a really cool loading animation or transition? Download that source code and read through it, tinker with some of the animation properties. Seeing how other developers write code is a crucial part to sharpening your own skills and learning new techniques to solve problems. Just as important as looking at other developers' code, let others look at your code. Having your friends or coworkers do peer reviews is extremely important to growing as a developer. Did you build some awesome interactive transition over the weekend? Let a schoolmate look at that code for a small code review. They may know of a simpler solution for that complex state machine that gives you a better performance. If you're looking for smaller start to finish projects for practice, I recommend using the iTunes U Stanford lectures. While the lectures are usually a semester or so behind, they contain all the homework assignments for you to build smaller but complete projects that you can compare against your own homework assignments. Personally, I look at the open source community on a daily basis, looking for interesting solutions to problems and learning from them. You can learn a lot about iOS development on your own, but you'll really start to see your skills improve by looking at others' code and letting others look at your code. That's it for this episode. As always, tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.